In this tutorial, we'll be going over the Portfolio module. The Portfolio module gives uh, artists and designers a great way to showcase their work in a gallery format. The Portfolio module comes in a couple different layouts. The standard layout, which displays your work in a vertical list, or uh, the tiled layout, which uh, creates a grid of thumbnail images for your projects. Now before you can add a Portfolio module, you first need to add some projects so that the module has something to display. Once you activate the Divi theme, you'll notice that a new Projects tab appears in your WordPress dashboard. You can go here and here and add a new project. You can either create a standard page or you can use the page builder. Either one works fine. If you opt to not use the page builder, you can choose the layout of your page, of your project. You can either put the sidebar on the left or right or choose full width to remove the sidebar completely. All projects need to have a featured image, which is the main image for that project, which will be used as a thumbnail image in the portfolio module. So to add a featured image, just click the set featured image link and then choose the image you would like to use. Once you've created a list of projects, then you can use the portfolio module to display those projects on your website. For example, here I have a blank page I'd like to add my projects to. It's called our portfolio. If you go into the builder, you see I've created a, a row here. I'm going to add the portfolio module. Now you can choose the layout, either full width or grid. You can choose grid in this case. For post number, you can choose how many posts you would like to display per page. After that, there'll be a, a next page link. I'm going to display eight. Under include categories, you can choose which categories you'd like to display in this particular feed of posts. I only have one category, portfolio, so I'm going to click that. But if you had different categories of projects, you could potentially create different pages and include different categories on different pages to create different sets of galleries. Title, you can choose whether or not you'd like to display the title of your project. You can choose whether or not to display the category. And you can choose whether or not to uh, have page pagination links. So if you'd just like to feature a couple, posts, uh, a couple projects on your page and not have the ability to browse through the rest of the projects, then you can um, hide the pagination. You can choose your text color. So if the background is light, which it is in this case, we'd want to have dark text. And then you choose um, your admin label as usual. And I'm going to save that. So I've added this portfolio module to a full one width column. And I'm going to preview the changes. And there you go. So I have a list of all my projects that are in the portfolio, portfolio category, which is, like I said, is my only category. Now I said there's two different layouts, so I can go back in here and change to the full width layout if I like. which will display the projects in a, a long row. If, it, if that's too overwhelming in the, a full width column, you could always um, add a sidebar or something to that. For example, let's add a new row and do a 1 fourth, 3 fourth. And here we can add a sidebar. It's going to be on the right. drag my portfolio into this new row and delete the old one. So now I have a little sidebar next to my portfolio instead of just having it full width. And there we go, so a sidebar has been added. So it's just like a, it creates an easy way to create a standard kind of blog-like portfolio layouts. And there's all kinds of ways you can take that portfolio module and put it in different size categories or different areas. And that's a basic overview of the portfolio module.